Every quarter, we produce a bundle patch for fixes for data pump on top of the release update. And the benefit of that bundle patch, of course, is that you will have fewer known issues that might affect your data pump operations, your imports, your exports, your transportable table space migrations, and so on. But there's another kind of hidden benefit to that patch, and that is that once you install the data pump bundle patch, it'll make all the patching on your database faster going forward. We'll talk about why in a little bit. So this data pump bundle patch for 19.19, .19, which is the most recent release update as of this recording, that one had 125 fixes in it, all tested together, integrated so that you can apply them with confidence. And they're very important fixes. So you might be wondering, well, well if they're so important, why aren't they in the release update? The reason for that is simple. Release updates have to be rack rolling installable. And a lot of the fixes that we have for data pump involve create or replace of a PL SQL package. And the thing about that is if you're using a PL SQL package, when we try to replace it, we will hang until you're done using it. And in the context of data pump, that means that it could cause data patch to hang for minutes or hours until your data pump import or export completed. So we don't want that to happen in your patching windows. So that's why the data pump fixes are separated out into this bundle. But it's not as bad as all that. It's actually a very easy bundle to install, and I'm going to explain why. The reason is that the contents of the data pump bundle patch, while not rack rolling installable, are what we call a non-binary online installable patch. That means that you can install the data pump bundle patch as long as nobody is using data pump on the system. And that's true of a rack database or a single instance database. The reason for this is that the contents of the patch are non-binary. That means they're SQL statements, they're PL SQL packages, XSL style sheet changes, but they are not the executable images or the shared libraries that get placed on disk. If we were touching those, then you would have to restart the database, but we're not. It's just SQL operations that will update PL SQL packages and do other things such as view definitions in the database. So this non-binary online patch install is in some ways actually better than a rack rolling install. It just has that one caveat that you can't have data pump running when you install it. So installing a patch has two parts. First is O patch. O patch for the data pump bundle patch is pretty simple. It just it'll run when your data pump when your database is running because we're just taking a bunch of wrapped PL SQL packages, those those PLB files, or maybe SQL scripts. We're putting them into your Oracle home. Then you run data patch, and the key is that you want to run data patch to install this bundle when nobody else is using data pump on the system. How do you know that? There are some views you could query and some ways you could find that out, but we're not going to make you do that. We've already built in safeguards. This has been true of data pump patching since I think it was 12.2, where we put in this locking mechanism in the dpload.sql script. And that means that one of two things could be the case. Either maybe I try to install the patch while you're running data pump, like an import or export, or maybe I'm installing the patch already when you try to start your data pump job. We take care of both of those eventualities. In this case, what you'll see is if you try to install the data pump bundle patch when someone has an import or export running, you will see this error saying, well, you can't upload or you can't update data pump right now because it's in use. So please try again later. And we also tell you the processes or sessions that are blocking you from installing the patch. So you can go talk to the person who's running the data pump job, find out when it is going to complete, or maybe whether it can be uh, stopped and restarted later. On the flip side, if you're installing the patch and one of the users tries to start a data pump job, they will get an error saying that they can't start the job right now. Now, error before 19.14 was not the easiest thing to understand, but you know, 19.14 was five release updates ago. It's more than a year ago. Ever since then, we've got a very informative error message that just says data pump software update is in progress, so try again later.
Not only that, but the data pump patching with the new DP load infrastructure runs about 90% faster than it used to. So the period of time where you're installing this patch is going to be on the order of 30 to 90 seconds. So we have these patching safeguards that work both ways. Again, if you try to install the patch when someone's running data pump, you will get a message. If someone tries to start a data pump job while you are installing the patch, they will get a message. And we make sure that there's no conflict between it. Makes it very possible to install this on a running production system. Now I mentioned that once applied that the data pump bundle patch will actually make all of your patching on your system faster. The reason for that is that some of the things we're doing, I mentioned view definitions, for example, is updating queries and view definitions for the things that are used to access uh, various aspects of the data dictionary. And those dictionary views as they get more performant, are used by other parts of patching as well. So we've seen customers report 20 to 30% speed improvements on their patching. More than that, the other aspect of performance is that a lot of the fixes in the data pump bundle pertain to performance as well. So you'll find that uh, whether you're dealing with lots of partitions or you have a whole bunch of uh, other objects in the database, you might be like this customer from financial services. Unfortunately, we can't name them, but they reported to us that for their application importing, it was a 66% performance improvement because of the number of tables and other objects that they were having to import and the, the more efficient parallelism that was in place. So going from two and a half hours to do an import to 48 minutes to do that same import, that's pretty impressive. This is why we want you to install that data pump bundle patch.